Good evening to the Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch Facebook group and DJ Radis subscribers. Tonight we we'll have an exclusive interview with Mr. John Crook, but don't let his last name fool you. He won't be stealing anyone's heart tonight. Welcome to the show tonight, Mr. Crook, and thank you for doing this interview. I'm only here because your producers promised me money. When do I get paid? You understand if we pay you, you'll have to declare that to the Social Security Office and the IRS. You'll lose your SSD benefits. Fine, keep it. I don't need your stupid money anyway. So let me start off by asking you, how is life living in Otter Creek? I actually hate it. I have no friends here. The people I consider family want me gone. Lynette doesn't even trust me around my R. Her daughter, unless Lynette needs me to babysit them in a car while she attempts to get a fraudulent protection order on Jeremy. Why didn't you just leave then? Cause Lynette owes me $65,000 for my half of the shed and land package. Plus additional money. I offered her to work it off by sucking my dick, but she won't even take that offer ever since she got close to Joshua Silverfish and the dishonorable Craig C. D's Nuts Thomasus. So just like you said to lie net the day you were measuring the property line on the road with the walking frame and tape measure when Jeremy drove past. No, I yelled that at Jeremy, but for legal reasons, I tried to play it off like I was speaking to lie net. So you're saying you lied in court. Everyone lies in court. It's not fair if I can't lie in court, too. Why were you bandaged up to the crotch? That's not normal. I like to over exaggerate things. I like it when strangers throw me a pity party thinking I'm actually injured more than I am. Let's talk about Mayor Granger for a minute. The day her and her husband rushed to your house and found you laying on the ground in a puddle of urine and poop after Lionette called them in a panic. You then thanked her by filing false claims against her through the courts. Why did you do that? That was actually all Lionette's idea. She wanted to seek revenge on the mayor for denying her application to be the town clerk. She used me to make the filings so it didn't look like a direct revenge scheme. Let's look at the Ohio court trial. So at what point? I object. I didn't even finish my question before you objected. Let me start again. So in the Ohio court trial via Zoom, how did? I object. Mr. Crook, will you let me finish A? I object. Okay, see, that's a touchy subject. Tell me, do you secretly have an obsession with Jeremy's two-inch pipe? Of course I do. It's no secret. I'm even more jealous than Lynette about wanting his love. It's just not fair that George gets to hold him and love him. But I am left standing against my tin fence, admiring him from 10 feet away. Rumor has it you actually renamed one of your turtles recently and gave it the name Jeremy. Is that so you can watch over him and take care of him and pretend the turtle is the real Jeremy? Who told you that rumor? It's not true. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Have you got a backup plan in case you lose the civil cases and owe Jeremy money? I'm going to start planting some corn on my property. Lynette can obviously dance on the corn stalks and shuck the corn with her thighs. I used to can veggies. We will call it La Sweat Cream Corn of Lynette and Crook. I'm sure we can sell that to make some money. That's definitely not survival food or even apocalypse food. In fact, I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Who on God's green earth would willingly buy or eat that? I'm going to have to cut this interview early. I'm actually now feeling violently sick. Mr. Crook, you really need to review your life choices here. You are not right in the head and your ideas and way you show affection are off the scales, unlike anything else on the planet. Thank you for sharing an insight into your life, though some of it could have easily been left out. Do you have anything else you wish to say before we leave? Lynette, suck my crack, you dirty corn star shucker. Next show, we will try and interview attorney Joshua Silverfish. Remember to like the video, share on all social media platforms, and if you haven't already, click subscribe. Come join us on Facebook. Search for Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch.